thanks to an I-Team investigation in 2008, state lawmakers ordered all Florida public schools to post their inspection reports and even put them on the Internet where parents can check them out. So are the schools complying with the new law? Chief Consumer Investigator Al Sunshine went to see for himself. Julian Wardle Bohr worries about the food his sons get in their school cafeteria. They bring their, their own food from home. We heard things about, you know, cockroaches and things going on in the cafeteria and dirty plates and things like that. For more than a decade, I've been reporting that state health inspectors routinely found sanitation problems at local schools. Unsatisfactory inspection. Like an infestation of roaches when the school year first started at Van Blanton Elementary School. Basically asking them to uh, exterminate live roaches that they found in cabinets. Thanks to our credit cafeteria investigations, state lawmakers ordered all public schools to publicly post their inspection reports inside the schools and on the Internet. As a parent, you basically you need to know the quality of the kitchen that is um, handling food, preparing food for your, uh, where your kids eat. Make sure that is, uh, the conditions, uh, they meet minimum health and safety standards. Recently, I went out to see if schools were posting those reports, visiting about a dozen in Miami-Dade and Broward. I found in almost all cases, they are not being posted where parents can find them. Each school cafeteria must post in a visible location and on the school website. Can I see your school cafeteria inspection report, please? In fact, in all but one case, school officials refused to even show them to me a violation of both state and federal law. Why won't you show me your most current inspection report? I can ask you to leave nicely or I can call someone to help you out. And it turns out nobody's enforcing the new law. I'm not aware of, of anybody checking. When Key Biscayne Community School opened for the year, 500 cartons of spoiled milk were found in the cafeteria's refrigerator. It was ordered destroyed, but I couldn't find the sanitation report in the school's office or on its website. Do we see the inspection report? Mm, I didn't see it. School staff here insists its reports are available for parents. Okay, why don't you post post it out where the where parents can see it? We have it on our website. That's where we put it. But remember, we searched for a while and never found them. So what's the Miami-Dade school system got to say? When you have to deal with a handwritten carbon copy, that's really what the principals are given. So it's very difficult to then scan, copy, fax, and then post electronically. But Principal Yolanda Valls doesn't seem to have any problem at May Walters Elementary. She posts a copy of the health report in the main office and on the Internet for parents. It makes them comfortable to know that especially when it's satisfactory that, you know, we're doing the right thing. As a result of my CBS 4 I-Team investigation, Congress may soon start cracking down on schools nationwide. Some lawmakers now want to make sure those inspection reports are available to any parents who want to see them. Without your reporting on this, without your dogged determination, there's no way we'd be at the point where we would know we needed to change the, the federal law. There's been no light shined on this other than your reporting. Despite problems with posting inspection reports, state inspectors say local schools are now doing better meeting state and federal sanitation standards. And there have been no major foodborne illnesses at any South Florida public schools this school year. I'm Al Sunshine with the CBS4 I-Team.